just doing a little experimenting with uh, some of the new spiderweb blocks. Uh, these are not actually official new blocks, but they are available if you have a item editor. You'll find them along with the other new mind track blocks. So I've got a few experiments going on right now. I've got a couple animals trapped. As you can see, it does slow down the movement of mobs, which could be useful, especially for traps. I'm sure that's one of the main uses that we'll see for it. Oh, the sheep just escaped this little pen over here. Um, pretty sure they slow down minecarts as well. They certainly slow down me. And actually, I find these blocks rather annoying because it's difficult to uh, move when you're in them. I mean, for obvious reasons, I suppose. Get out of here. Um, so this is a minecart, which I pushed up onto this incline, and as you can see, it moves very slowly. Um, and it eventually stops moving. Now, for reference, if I push it to the other end of this, normally when you have a block there, it'll just stop moving entirely. Um, but in this case, you know, did it just stop there? No. So the, the webs above it, one block above it, don't seem to affect it, even when we have a rider present. Oh, crap. This is another annoying thing. I should probably get this out of my hands. There we go. Okay, so let's see if we can push this cart out of its little fix there. Even when I'm present, it doesn't get slowed down until the cart hits the uh, webbing. So I'm also going to run a quick experiment over here since I have this convenient lake of ice. I'm going to place this cart. And as you can see, well, the ice didn't actually help much, but whatever. You you see the point here. Um, the card gets stuck. And it's not just a normal block, block collision because the card actually does move a little bit into the spider web, but it's a significant stop. Um, I'm not sure if it's possible to use these as breaks. Um, seems like you'd be better off just putting a block there. Um, and since they can't be used to interact with the cart that's riding on the track because you know there's nowhere to put them that the cart will actually intersect them while it's riding on a track uh, you're better off just using an unlit booster block for a break final experiment involves a little bit of danger um, I think the reason these aren't in the game yet is probably because of this so as you can see, these things will stop my fall, which is, I'm sure, going to be one of the other primary uses for them. Um, but if I let myself fall all the way down to the ground level here, this might take a little while. Um, I believe you'll find a little bug I uncovered. Yes. I still take fall damage, all of it. So that's not especially useful. It happens that way no matter what you do. Basically, the moment you enter the webbing, you're still destined to take that damage, and you still will no matter what you do, um, unless you manage to get yourself into water. Um, and in the end, water seems to be a much better use for fall damage to turn right now. So that's all the useful applications I can see at the moment for the webbing. Um, as you can see, I was experimenting here on how many booster blocks it would take to get something up a hill. Um, this works, by the way, empty and full carts, but that's another experiment entirely. Um, thanks for watching.